Okay, leg press. So this is the deep and paused version. This is how I pretty much want you to always do leg press because let's face it, you wanna get as much range of motion through those joints as you can. And so the deeper you can get it, the better. Now, one little tip, if you look at where my hands are, I'm holding basically on the, the edge of the seat. Now, depending on what kind of leg press you got, you might be able to do this or not. Uh, the one here, you can also see, uh, there's a little handle down here that you can use. Um, I, I actually prefer holding the seat because it just makes everything, like my, it makes my upper body feel a lot more tight and secure and I feel like I can push better through my legs when I do it like this. So that's what I recommend. Now, if we look over my shoulder, you can see my foot position and you can see where my knees are coming down to. So you can see my knees are reasonably wide. Um, my stance is kind of wide, but it's not super wide. And um, my feet are basically on the plate in the position that allows me to get down the lowest. Now, you might find that you need to have your feet up a little bit higher or a little bit lower. So just um, when you're doing your warm up set, so make sure it's nice and light, play around with your foot position and you wanna be able to get down as low as possible without your heels coming off the plate. Now, if you find that your heels are lifting up a touch, um, especially as you're fatiguing at the end of your sets, that's okay. But for the most part, we want to be able to push through our heels.